Now, unless you've been living underneath a rock, you should know by now that The Simpsons have been popular due to their accurate predictions. A lot of their predictions of celebrities and certain events that have happened, such as the 11 slash 9. They make it very clear and obvious for even the blindest person to see. Now, look closely, and you'll see in the parking lot that there is only one vehicle controlling the whole entire nuclear plant. Remember, back then there were a lot of cars in that parking lot in, in the past videos. The people who control all of what you see on TV, they think it's um, really funny to say that they gave you a warning. Um, that way when things happen, you can't say that you didn't know. And so, this right here is a clear and very scary warning to pretty much all of humanity and what is to come next. So let's take a look at this clip. Well, you be my friend. Friendship cannot exist between man and machine, but I can simulate interest in your segments. <gasps> it's important for you to open your mind. The robot says that man and robots will pay attention. Will never be friends. Okay? So that is a beginning of a crazy reality. In the next scene that comes two seconds after this, Homer creates a situation where he accidentally wants to make this thing animated, which is clue to how they're going to implement robots into our daily lives. It'll be a problem, reaction, solution. You see, the Simpsons are pretty correct. <clears throat> We've already implemented cell phones and automated registers and such. And then when they come for our jobs and, you know, only make one or two people have to actually be at the building, we're still, we're still going to be content because we as humans are going to try and find a different way of living. But what happens is when the humans want to start to bond with the robots and implement that within themselves like these chips that they're trying to put in your hand and stuff um, that's when there is going to be an issue the disaster is there and clear right in front of your face of when the tables started to turn when we started to start to interact and depend on these robots as far as comfort that's where the problem starts. One thing I want you to notice is the numbers on the robots. <clears throat> now, one of the robots, it said E13. And then E15. If you notice, clearly they started off with 13 and then 15. So, I'll get right to it. E is end. Okay? And the number is the year. Okay. So this all really started to be implemented in 2013. In 2015, it was a disaster. But we can't see it as a disaster. We consider it, it, it an involve, uh, evolving or maturing as humanity. <laughs> but in actuality, the electronics are devaluing um, us as a human species. Very hard to describe, but um, uh, natural things are becoming non-natural, simply from human interference.
it wasn't a coincidence that Homer stumbled upon discovering that the robot can interact with him. It was supposed to happen. This clip with the bartender is basically us, um, the part where it says the water is watered down beer, uh, that is going to be our watered down civilization. What's ironic about it is that in the past, Moe's was a sanctuary type of place to be, symbolically, for the average American male. And as you see Homer slowly walking away from what that of used to be happiness is very symbolic. It's it's really and look at the symbol in the background. It says King Tattoo Music Store. Now the obvious Egyptian picture is nothing to too much of a difference. But look at the door. The door is wide open to the facility. Alright. It's open. It's clearly vacant, um, hasn't been used, and there's no signs outside. That's the other clue that they're giving you, the coming collapse of small businesses, or businesses, period. This is by far one of the most clearest signs of what is to come for all of us. <clears throat> We're going to be having fun in this beginning stages of not having to do labor and then become very alone, extremely alone. We will have a lot of fun being able to have all this freedom, but the realization will come that you yourself are becoming obsolete. And you will try to devise different things, such as Homer reading this book, as another way to accept this new technology. Seven, two, two, five. Now, we can translate this in a whole bunch of ways. <clears throat> but at the end, the two, five is 2025. No, it could be the seventh month on the second day. But the end, the two, the 25, is the year 2025. When all of this will be already set to go. I mean, even Amazon has drones that do their business inside of those buildings. Now, this next part is the most troubling part that really disturbs me and really the meaning why I made this. Now The Simpsons is quite an intricate part of our civilization. Now it doesn't guide us into uh, what's going to happen in the future but it's like a seeing glass. Okay? So here they, the elites, Put it clear and boldly in your face. And they made sure that they put this in your face. So you can get used to seeing this. All around here. It's out of business. Going out of business signs all over the place. Now that's just a clue to you getting used to nothing being around. Now this may have happened to you also. In your neighborhood. But the local Marsh stores have all closed. Now, yes, they might be going under different management or whatnot. But this is basically a very small yet big clue of how big businesses cannot maintain in the same structure, the same using of extreme amounts of funds to maintain the structure and so they use these buildings as 
examples of why you know robots should be implemented and it's sad because I knew from back then that all of these buildings and expensive things couldn't last forever and maintaining people it's hard to do that when the zest of or the interest of coming to your particular store has been faded for years now if you don't know what faded means it just simply means that the zest and the whole newness of things um, eventually get old take for instance the TV it used to be awesome and they came out with flat screens now they have cell phones that are just pretty much more digital than the actual TVs and so what I mean is that any business that used to be founded off of people coming into their store is now being eradicated not only due to the internet but new technology now if you notice it says on this next clip <clears throat> androids are not welcome now I know you guys are thinking that they're talking about the robots that are there that that, that are they're taking over people's jobs but if you really pay attention to it they're talking about cell phones now I know you're like what it doesn't make any sense they're talking about the robots no why wouldn't they just say bots are not welcome or such and such pay attention your cell phone is an electrical electronic device okay in the future if you hadn't noticed throughout this episode, no one has a cell phone. Okay? Now, <laughs> you know they implement what is currently happening inside of the cartoons. Well, this, they took it a step further and let you know that the coming future, cell phones and stuff like that, which we are now utilizing to make transactions and everything, will not be welcomed. Okay, there will be a big uproar between technology and mankind because, for instance, many men, such as myself, are very frustrated with feminism for years. But see, this current thing I'm showing you right now is the exact equivalent of the frustration. You see, they're, they're going to take technology will be our newest frustration. Feminine will be already eradicated in the future. Even, um, you know, patriotism and all of that will be eradicated. And they're trying to make it clear to you that your time here right now is the golden time. In the future, people, it was, we're pretty much going backwards. Not really... Um, for the for the rich people or the people who are making making money and making moves we're talking about the average person who is a consumer this will be your faith the same things that you're using right now that are, are awesome and great will be looked upon as just bad because it'll be taken away from your mouth technology will be looked upon as being bad because you'll be taking away food things from you So, as I said, they never put anything in the cartoons unless it has a meaning. Uh, what we have here is the pizza guy who is basically everyone's family go-to guy when they wanted to get a family gathering. Even today we have a big family gathering we all get pizza. Well...
idea of uh, gathering, gather, and buying products. This is not going to be uh, there anymore as fruitful as it used to be. Um, we're going to have to create our own food and make our own food and maybe have to have our own hens and, and pigs or whatnot to really make it for the average person. This scene with Mr. Burns is uh, so amazing. See, it has the elephant as the Democrat. And they step onto this guy's face, Moe's face, causing him to be an evil person, if you've seen that. Now, he's not evil, but he has a very bad attitude. Now, that's symbolic to what they're doing to us, you understand? Like, they're... <laughs> Stepping on us, you understand, and we're just getting used to it. That. Now, the original book is called "The Birth of Venice." Now, the reason why they put this book and changed the name. Is because that is exactly what the book should have been called. Within the book, you see the rise and fall of a wonderful family structure. Um, the fall was due to a particular person, namely a female, who decided to not go along with the arranged marriage and instead go along with her fantasies of which she believed was true love, and in the end, be destroyed by the same person she chose to marry, and her whole entire family was destroyed. So what does this have to do with this particular scene right here? Well, first of all, the novels that will be in the future, which will probably be in electrical form, not in paper form, the paper form book backs will be that of gold. And if you notice, the kids were sad that he wasn't going to read to them. What person or adolescent do you know in today's day, especially in 2000, would get sad that they were not being taught? You see, these kids are representing the lost souls and the lost mentality of information that will be coming to us in the future. You see, the future of our kids, they're not going to know how to do pretty much anything. All they will know is electronics and such. And they won't know how to change a tire because there won't probably be any tires to change. Um, they won't know how to write a novel because they will probably not really be learning too well. I mean, yes, there's going to be a, a, a big, vast difference between those who have money to send their kids to school and those who don't. And that's what I'm trying to say. Like, those who don't have it, they're not going to be getting free public schooling like it used to be because it takes people to keep public schools going. And there's no people there to keep public schools going. These people will be retarded. So pay attention. This is our coming future, which is sad. And I'll be probably like 70, maybe 70. And I'm trying to get on these ebooks and all this internet stuff trying to just um, make it because I see the coming future and it's looking pretty bleak people who are not within this technology thing that's going on. So that's it for my first review and the obvious known fact that the Simpsons are used as a tool to kind of make fun of the public and just tell us what's going to happen to you. And we laugh and we have a good time with it, but when it's here, oh, be a big scare. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the ebook.